Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is another review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, episode 10, Healing by Sheree. It's Thanksgiving. So we see all the girls with their families cooking, etc., etc. Um, Drew and, and Ralph are having the girls and their significant others <laughs> and husbands, spouses, whatever. Um, Drew is having everybody over to the house for a brunch. Ralph has this great idea that he wants to host everyone before they go off to Portugal, you know. He's trying to set the scene, set the tone so that the girls can have a great time on their trip. Drew is like, I guess he's trying to be a good husband. I mean, he ain't, but I guess he's trying to show y'all he a good husband. That was her complete, that was her whole disposition. That's not what she said. But that's what I gathered from what she said <laughs> and how she said it. Um, but anyway, all the girls, you know, they come. It's a couple's brunch. Courtney, she brought Bryce. Like She got to bring Bryce every time it's, it involves a couple situation. She got to have her somebody. I, I mean, I don't even know why Bryce be there. <laughs> but she brought Bryce. You know, like all the 90s girls know Bryce. They're all like, oh, Bryce. Oh, my God. I ain't seen you in a long time. Bryce, is that, is that Bryce? Hey, same one a long time. All the girls know Bryce. Um, Marlo, she brought she brought Scott Lee. And I'm like, no, nah, girl, you ain't had to bring him. <laughs> you ain't had to bring nobody just to be bringing him. But I guess she brought Scott Lee. Um, Candy says that she's met him before. You know, he's he's the head chef at. Did she say Intercontinental? No. He's the, he's the head chef at, at whatever restaurant he's the head chef at. I, I, I really didn't get the name. My bad. <laughs> but she's met him before. Um, we talk about Todd's movie. Can you say she want to be in it? Y'all saw y'all started casting. And, and where, where was my call? Did you, did you hit up my agent? And she's like, you going to audition? Audition? <laughs> I'm past auditioning. Girl, you still need to audition. Who you think you are? <laughs> Angela Bassett doesn't audition. Kenya Moore, send me your self-tape, please. Headshots, demo reel, send them. Thank you. Talking about she don't need the audition. <laughs> Ooh, that girl funny. <laughs> um, anyway, you know, Drew got the lead. You know, she gonna be, she's going to be the lead. And we'll, we'll be saying a lot more about this movie and Drew's leading role soon. Um, anyway. Roy ends up calling and um Marlo sees because she shows everybody and Marlo's like is that is that Roy call me, call me crazy Roy I want to I went on a date with him everybody's like oh, did you <laughs> Kenya just gets up immediately excuses herself and goes to talk to her talk to her little boo thing um but Marlo at the table you know explains how she knows him she says they just went on one day she kind of feel like he was corny anyway um she she shows him this random dm you know she says she was doing something on instagram and he sent her a dm and they went on a date didn't go nowhere you know it was nothing um it is what it is uh can no not candy no it was candy right one of them was talking about that lady not paying for services. <laughs> I mean, not paying for sex. I mean, that man not, not... That was Candy. That was Candy taking a dig at Marlo. Um, because, girl, nobody's worried about you having gone on a date with, with Kenya's new boo. Because, I mean, it didn't work out. So, why we worried? You're not going to steal him back or nothing. Cause, and, I mean, why would you... It was it was messy and, and childish of Marlo to blurt that out out loud. And then double down on, let me see if I can find his phone number. Let me see if I can, like, he community peeing or something. Girl, please. Because <laughs> Kenya already knew about it. She already knew about it. Um, At the table, Sheree, she just out of nowhere randomly asked Drew, so Drew, is, is the chef going to get paid? Drew like, huh? There was some stuff on the blogs about, you know, a lawsuit. You're not paying, you're not paying your chef. It, it's, so is he going to get paid? And everybody's like, Drew, you know, taking the bags like, well, it's a lawsuit. Can't really talk about it. The girl's suing her for a thousand dollars, and everybody like, a thousand dollars. Drew, pay that girl. Drew says the principal. That girl 
wanted to cook for Drew, and so she allowed her to do it, but it was nasty. She found some hair in her food. And it's like, Drew, if if she was cooking at your house, could it have been that you might have had hair somewhere? <laughs> like, either way it goes, like, come to find out, because Candy spoke on this on Speak On It. <laughs> she talked about the fact that Drew defended herself, well, represented herself in this, you know, civil lawsuit and won. So... It is what it is, but it was a sore spot for Drew, and it was it was obvious. And Sheree, you know, she was being messy. It was there was no reason for her to just randomly. So Drew, is the chef gonna get paid, girl? You of all people asking about somebody paying somebody, you, you, not the girl that always owes somebody. Let somebody else ask next time. Let somebody get somebody else to do it next time. Because you, you asking the questions, mm -mm. we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that, girl. Anyway, um, then there's this weird exchange between Kenya and Courtney at the table. Courtney uh, and Kenya threw, threw, threw the first shady dig, you know. She, she threw some shade at her and Courtney kind of gave it back like, oh, girl. And she did it a couple of times, you know, with her response, you know, because she was giving nice, nasty too, if that's what we're doing. Kenya can't take that kind of stuff. She, she, <laughs> she don't like it when you throw it back. She really don't. Um, she, she likes to be the only one picking up on subtle shade and throwing it back. You know, it's like, no, girl, if you can do it, I can do it. And I can do it better. That's what Courtney gave. Oh, girl, I see you. I'm going to throw it. I got Let me do you one better. <laughs> so Kenya tells her not to touch her. You know, I know you, I know you handsy and everything, but girl, don't touch me like that. Cause we're not friends. We're not, we're not there yet. Courtney's like, I didn't touch you. You did. You did. <laughs> you know, it was about to be some back and forth. So Drew, you know, just says to Courtney, don't, you know, she's setting a boundary. You just have to respect her boundary. Cool, cool, cool. Um, the ladies, we see everybody packing for Portugal. Um, oh, C Candy ends up leaving early. Um, she just get it. She just take her mic off. <laughs> you get up and she outside telling Ty. Hey, let's go. <laughs> let's, get, let's, let's, let's go. Come on. <laughs> um. Anyway, they're packing for the for the trip or whatever. Candy, Paul thing. She's recovering from food poisoning, and so she had herself a time. Not a time. It was. I know it was bad. I know it was bad. I know it was bad. It was bad on that plane. It got bad. It gets worse for whatever reason in that high altitude. Um, and so she was sick. She was sick the whole eight hours. Oh, God. I feel, I feel so bad because I know that that was, I know it was so terrible. And I know she just wanted to get to a bed, you know. Um, they get there. Um, Sheree, she explains that this is a healing trip. You know, this is about healing. It's about fun. You know, the ladies, you know, while they're headed to their rooms, everybody takes a minute to call their husbands. <clears throat> Drew, she going to throw out there that Ralph in Vegas. And this is odd. And I know, and I know Drew threw it out there purposely so that it could get the, get the girls to speculate and ask some questions so that she could talk about it. You know, cause Drew, <clears throat> it's obvious that, Behind the scenes, she and, and Ralph are dealing with a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so she throws out there that Ralph's in Vegas. And they're, you know, like, why? So he's out there for an audition. At her video shoot, the lady that was oiling him up, she also works, I guess, in, I don't know, in production. I don't know what she do. She a casting, she a casting agent? I don't know, but she she want she want uh, Ralph to come to Vegas and audition for the the Magic Mike show. I don't know if it's a movie live show. I don't know, but you know the strippers. And so first things first, Ralph ain't nobody's stripper. No, thank you. Return to sender. I mean, you you Ralph is daddy fine. You know, like oh that's somebody fine daddy. You know, and that's it. You don't want to see the fine daddy strip because he he really ain't got the body like that. <laughs> like he he's he's uh, eye candy at the gym, you know, my best friend Mercedes. 
Mercedes say probably the finest man at the PTA meeting, but I mean, <laughs> that's about it. We don't want to see him stripping. Child, please. And he ain't going down at a strip or audition to be a stripper. He, she auditioning, all right. She auditioning in that pen. That's what she auditioning. That's what's going on, Drew. And you know it. You know it. <laughs> you know it and I know it. We all know it. Um. Anyway. And honestly, if all of this stuff is true about she and Ty, it's like, Girl, both of y'all was out doing whatever you was doing. So, I mean, hey. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I mean, just divorce and going on about your business. Um, But he in Vegas. Vegas, like like she said, auditioning. Um, She alluding to something and the ladies are all, they got they, they antennas up. Um, Mayetta and Drew, they, they, you know, they're in their rooms now. They talk out on the lanai. Mayetta, you know, is telling her, you know, did you know that Africa is just south of here? And she's like, oh, my God, I've never been to Africa. I mean, I've been to South Africa, but not Africa. Mayetta was taken aback, but she didn't correct her. <laughs> you know, Bravo did. Gave us a whole, you know, on the map. Here we are. We, we, we got the continent of Africa. Down at the bottom, there's South Africa. Still Africa. So you've been to Africa. You've been to Africa. Why, why not say... I've never been to Nigeria. I've never been to, you know, <laughs> different countries in Africa. Just to say you ain't been to the whole continent and you have. Come on, girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> she was having, she was having a, um, a moment. It was a blind moment. She, I'm sure she didn't even realize that that came out of her mouth like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, Mayetta says she has an orphanage in, um, in Africa, in Swaziland. And... They show some pictures, you know, and that was that was nice for to show us a little bit of Monietta. You know, that was nice. Um, hopefully, maybe if she's here long enough, she she can host her own trip and they can go out there, you know, and do some do some some community service out there at her orphanage and all of that. See, visit the kids, all of that. That would be nice. Um, Sonia and Marlo, they also have drinks. And, um, you know, everybody seems to be in a good space. Everybody seems to be getting along right now. Um, Kenya and Candy check in. Um, you know, Candy's still on the mend or whatever. Um, Drew tells Monietta that she doesn't really appreciate how Sheree, you know, brought up her, her legal situation in front of the table, you know, at the table, at the brunch like that. Um... She feels like they had gotten to a good place. And so it's like, why, why, why would you double back like that? Talking about the blogs, you know, Kenya over there. Um, who was she talking to? Candy. She's not worried about Marlo and this man, you know, like, like I said, she knew about Marlo having gone on that date with him. He's already shared that with her. It was nothing. <laughs> She ain't worried about it. She say he ain't the type of man that pays for pussy. So he wasn't her type and she wasn't his type. Sonya and, and this, Sonya girl, you gonna get it. You gonna get it at this reunion because the fact that you up bad mouthing Kenya again, again, like you just want it with her. And it's like, why? Why you want it with her so bad? You don't, you don't really want it with Kenya. You don't. You do not. And yet, she's always poking that bear. You know, she's going to try to throw a little gas on the flame, you know, by saying, basically saying she's a hypocrite because when it come, when it came to Kenya bringing out, busting out her phone, bringing up the DMs that she might have got from Martell, she wanted to be heard and all of that. She wanted, you know, it was, it was facts. But, now that it's Roy, she kind of being dismissive, you know, like, oh, it's nothing. You know, she's throwing her digs. Um, what are you doing, Sonya? Where are we going with this? It's not, it's not going to end well. <laughs> it's just not. And I don't want you sitting up at a reunion, backpedaling and pussy popping like, like you don't get what we're saying. Um, the ladies, they head out for dinner. Um, can you ask the table who can all blink? You know, 
your right eye than your left eye like this <laughs> oh the only one that could do it was my yetta the rest of them drew had me cracking up because drew <laughs> drew gonna say <laughs> girl that ain't it that ain't it we talking about be still don't move your head to do it <laughs> oh that was i love it when they have like those cute fun moments like that i just love it <laughs> um anyway um, Sheree opens the floor for the ladies to kind of, you know, hash out their differences, you know, what, 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 what might be, what they might be harboring. Courtney takes the floor first. She addresses Ken, you know, she's like, I didn't know that we had a problem until today. Um, you know, Kenya and Kenya looking in the knife at her reflection, just ignoring. I said, Kenya, please come on. Don't do that. That lady is, is trying to ad address the situation head on. Don't do that. She was she was trying to haze her a little bit. <laughs> she was trying to haze her a little bit, but um, they you, they end up coming to you know a meeting of the minds. You know, it's just a disagreement. You know, I, I I'll respect your boundaries since it was a boundary situation. It is what it is. Um, but she did hear that. Um, Kenya was talking about her to Sheree. Sheree had already ran it back. Um, Kenya felt like, you know, she was violating her space and, you know, you got a wall up with me, but you, you over here, you know, all in my personal space, but I can't even, I don't even know you like that. I can't, you won't even allow me to get to know you like that. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> um, Kenya, she says that, you know, you tapped me once and it was whatever, but when you did it again, she she could feel the condescending, you know, coming up off of it. And so that's that's where she was with it. I really don't feel like going back and forth with this Kenya and Courtney situation. Because it was stupid. It was dumb. Let me not say dumb. Everybody's feelings are valid. It was just unnecessary for you to be bringing to the table. Like, you could have talked to her. You could have you went to her room and knocked on her door and said, Hey, you know what? I, I feel like blah, 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 blah. We would have got over it and then... Moved on. You know, you waited for the group for what? Because it fell flat. It fell flat. <laughs> um, Drew, she addresses Sheree about talking about her and her back. Um, I, and I don't know why Courtney talking to Ralph on the side about Drew's feelings or whatever. They we we she skated right on by it, but I didn't. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Courtney was talking to Ralph about what? <laughs> she confiding in Ralph about what? Oh, so they they be talking like that? Okay, cousin Courtney. Um. Anyway, you know she didn't fit. She didn't appreciate her bringing up the blogs in front of the in front of capacity. Sheree says, well. I don't appreciate you lying on me in your interview. And it's like, girl, what? Can we stick to the topic at hand? I can't stand a bitch that deflects. I have addressed something with you. We're going to address it. You're not going to deflect and bring up something else so that we're now addressing that. And you're not accountable. N -n -n no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And again, you ain't the one to be talking about people's finances and paying people because you don't pay people so let them get somebody else to do it <laughs> get somebody else to do it you know because drew ain't gonna stop talking even when you be trying to, even when folks be trying to interrupt her and interject she is not going to stop talking <laughs> she's gonna get her point across you know they doing this tit for tat y'all excuse my loud children i don't know i don't i don't i, I, I don't know what state of my little den area gonna look like when i go out there but let me press forward. <laughs> Let me press forward. Um, they really get nowhere. When it comes to Drew's comments in that interview, she wasn't lying. You did indeed take that stuff back. Now she wants to take herself out of it. Where well, it wasn't me. It had nothing to do with me. Candy didn't get any. Well, Candy had to return the items. Sonya didn't get anything. Nobody got anything. Only person got something. Only person walked away with something with some sheep by Sheree was Marlo. She's not lying. Everybody's not lying on you. 
Because she was like, because Candy tries to say, well, you know, I, they did ask for the stuff back. You know, like, we, you think we, 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 you think we made, you saying we're making this up? And she going to say, yes, no, they're not. <laughs> they're not making it up, lady. You, you had, you definitely didn't intend on giving away that stuff. You didn't. Um, cause I mean, they all vouch for it. They all vouch for it. You, you took it back. I mean, it is what it is. Um, Sheree is deflecting. Absolutely. And so now we're like completely off topic and we're only talking about this interview that Drew did. Um, Drew wants to bring it back to the point, you know, you're being a mean girl, you know, you're bringing up my lawsuit and, um, you know, at the table, you know, and talking about me behind my back as well, because apparently the conversation continued on <laughs> about Drew and not paying people or whatever, what the blogs are saying. She's been talking about um, Drew to Courtney. And so that's that's and, and Courtney been telling Ralph. And so Ralph told Drew. <laughs> um, Drew gets emotional and. She just gets up from the table. I wish she hadn't got emotional. Cause she had dropped she had it was a she had a mic drop moment, you know, in saying that this is a healing trip that you don't put together, but you ain't even healed. Cause Sheree made a comment, you know, a very vindictive one. Oh, you don't like how it feels, do you? It don't feel good, do do it. So girl, you've been harboring shit? I thought we moved past it. What it what? So now it was all of it was on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. You were trying to get me back. What are we doing? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand Sheree sometimes because it was a it, girl completely unnecessary. And again, you aren't the you aren't the person to be bringing up blog talk when it when it when it's centered around unpaid invoices. Because you got a few out there yourself, so let somebody else do it next time. And we're not saying that it shouldn't have been brought up because, I mean, it was in the blogs. It's going to get brought up by somebody, but it shouldn't have been you. <sighs> you know, they got to go out there and check on Drew. Um, Sonya, Sheree, and Kenya, they go and, and check on her. And I said, I done seen a little... A little preview trailer for what's to come as far as that conversation goes and it's it still gets it still goes nowhere i don't think they get anywhere <laughs> well actually know what you know what they do i take it back they do they do but i don't know how long it's gonna last because folks is always making up and then turning around like charade of all people always making up with somebody and then harboring something and coming back with it you know in another season or two she gonna just drop it on you don't feel good do it girl what <laughs> she playing psychological war games on people. Anyway, that's it. Until next time, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light.